What is up, YouTube? We're back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to snipe slash flip in cut 25 because it's the best it's the best method in the game. We're going to be going over. We're going to be going. Our first thing we're going to do. What do you want to do if when you log in, you want to flip? You want to check whatever over whatever overalls you want to do. Let's say you want to do the 75 to 79 filter. You want to go check these eight, the 81 set and the 82 set. Flick right stick up for the 70 overall. See that they're 12k. Write down the number. So they're 12k times by 0.9. That's 10,800. So you'll probably want to get cards for if you get 10 cards for 10k or less, you'll at least profit 800 a pop. 79s right here. You see they're going for like 10k. 10.9, that's 9k, so you divide them probably around 8k if you want to make a thousand profit of pop on them. But you can all like, so let me just go show you an example right here. I go 75 79. The way I do it, I just go, I'll, I'll go position by position. Let's go look at halfback. And we just go through, see any cards that are snipes. Let's just scroll through. And we see a 78 for like. What was it like 9k or 79 for 8k? I'll buy it. Just scroll through. You see a 79 right here for 6800 coins. I'll buy it. And we, you see, we we'll, we got this card for 6800. We also sold something else. I'm currently streaming, so if you guys if you guys want to see me make coins live, I stream sometimes. And. Well, that's what I'm doing right now, making coins. And so that card's going for 10K. That's going to be like a few thousand profit right there. Let's go check for another card up real quick. Just scrolling down. I right, just go look. There's another one for 8K. I'm going to buy that one also. Get another thousand profit. I'll take as many coins as I possibly can get right now. A thousand profit is a thousand profit. You buy 20 of those cards, it's 20K profit. 20K could buy you a card. That you done before, so it's worth it. It's worth just taking small profits. Next thing to do is, if we have the um, you you also can do the eighty to eighty one filter. Eighty to eighty one filter is also really good. We look, let's see the right here. We see twelve k, twelve thirteen k, whatever the minimum buyout is. If you want to flip the cheapest eighties, the way you do that. Is you go 80 to 81, you go search by legend, you go down to these eight these 80 overall cards right here, you click X on them, you press auction house, send it to auction house, and you just gotta refresh this over and over again. If you want to do and you just buy them for like you go for 12k, so buy them, buy them for like 9k or less. And so I'm buying for 12 or 13, whatever how much they go for the, at your current time. But whatever whatever price you're looking at. So you look at the cart, look at the whatever the unfiltered price is, times by 0.9, then minus a thousand or two thousand, whatever how much profit you want to make on the card. That's how you do the 80 to 81, if you want to do the minimum, the, min, the cheapest ones. What I'm been, what I like to do, at least what I've been doing today, is I go position by position, except for middle linebacker, halfback, quarterback, and D tackle. I skip those positions because they're not really worth doing. Because the the filters are full, so I go look at receiver. Look if there's 80s, 81s that are snipes. I buy them and sell them back. Then I go tight end. You see, there's one for 20k. I mean, I was buying these earlier, but I have so many of these up right now. Not just really sure if it's a snipe or not. But if it gets like 18, 17k, I'll buy them, sell them back. Go to another position like center. If this girl was 30, if this girl was 30k or under, I'm buying and selling it back. Because it's just a pretty decent few thousand profit. Right tackle. If this card was 25k, I'll probably buy it and free sell it for 30 or 35. See this position? This this dude, this Kobe Baines guy. He's you, if you get him for like 11, 12, 13k, sell back for 16.5. Few thousand profit. Nice profit. What's been going really good tonight has been these strong these safety positions. Well, he's actually. Like this 18k snipe, this guy is actually 18k and he's a GS snipe. Right here, I'm gonna buy for 18k. Something sold already. 
but we're gonna put this back up for 25 right here go down over here put it up for 25 it's like 750 so that's that's a nice few thousand profit right there there's, other, there's another safe dip right here i think i already i already have a lot of that dude so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna buy another one of them so i'm gonna pass on them and we go free safety look well these are kind of down right now but um you just want to go position by position look around and start like start understanding the market that's the best way how to learn how to flip if you understand the market flipping becomes a million times easier because you understand how the market goes up and the market goes down and what cards are what cards you're expecting will go back up in price and all that stuff like if i want to go like look at let's go look at corners real quick corners well these are both 19k look at 81s okay there's no there's nothing there look at also linebacker there is this one i'm not gonna buy it because i'm i have a lot of car i might i think my inventory might be completely full but then my opinion i would stick on the 75 to 79 to, or 80 to 81 but if you want to you can go up to the 82 or the 83 if you want these are more interesting these are better these are way better on content days when there's like when content releases these are crazy at least they were crazy today for people and you same thing go position by position you look you can see there's bigger profit margins you can get on these cards but they also cost more so like it's, it's a lot more risk on these cards because they can go down like let's let's go look there's um hmm Going for A3s, like, well, A3s are like 60k for wide receivers. If you get, you can get them for 40k. And that'll be a, like a big profit. Tight ends, like, if you get A2 for 30k, that's a 6k profit right there. For A3, that's even more, that's a lot of profit also. Just, just make sure you just gotta, like, see how many, see how many coins you have. And you just gotta think about, um, if you want to take the risk, my favorite one, my favorite is 80 to 81s. If you have low coins, do 75 to 79. If you have medium coins, do 80 to 81. 80 to 83, it's okay. It's really your choice. I only would do it on days that stuff releases. And for like the few hours after it releases because market gets flood, like people just flood cards, flood cards for cheap up in the market. Then I don't like I don't like this last filter eighty four eighty five I my personal opinion I do not like to flip these cards because they're really expensive and there's not they're not really that many cards I don't think that are flippable for me at least and they're huge risk on these cards just like scrolling down like these cards are three hundred k if he goes down if, like he could drop easily down to two fifty two hundred k. In a, in a second you look at this card well he's a good safety but he's not gonna like he's not gonna sell probably for a while like these corn like some of these corners might be you might be able to get some of these corners for cheap but i haven't spent enough time to really on looking at these to be able to see if this is actually really good but i don't i'm not a person that's going to be sitting on the big filters that's just who i am i like to sit on the, those smaller filters because i feel like they're more consistent and they're more guaranteed coins. So, also one one last thing: when you, before you drink any filter, make sure you check the unfiltered prices because you see unfiltered price right here: twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine k for A twos. The A three unfiltered price does not matter. Does not matter at all. I just just make sure whatever whatever you're doing. My be best one is A to 81s. Second best is probably golds. Then to A to A to A to A3s, and A485s, and eventually, you'll eventually you'll get enough coins to be able to buy some of these LTDs right here. You just gotta make sure you're patient, patient with this with the flipping, and make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.